Today I'm going to read The Cat's Tale by Nick Butterworth and Mick Inkpen. Hello, I'm the cat who lives next door at number three. I expect you've seen me sunning myself up here on the roof. I like it up here, I can keep an eye on things. I was up here the other day when a truly amazing thing happened. I knew something was up the moment I saw the servants sweeping the courtyard. There I am watching them get ready for the party. Someone's getting married and everyone's been invited. It's going to be the party of the year. Down below the servants are hurrying about with tables and chairs. Put them here, says the steward. He is the man in charge. Now out comes the food. Oh, what a feast. There are pies and cakes and roasted meat, all kinds of fish and loaves of bread. There are pots of honey, flasks of wine and bowls piled high with nuts and grapes. I curl my tail and lick my lips. Mm, a piece of fish would be nice. Soon the guests arrive. One or two at first, then lots more streaming through the gate, laughing and chattering. One of them is called Jesus. He's come with a big crowd. When he speaks, everyone gathers round and listens. I knew something was going to happen the moment I set eyes on him. Now everyone is here. The party can begin. I'll go down and hide under one of the tables. Maybe I'll sit on someone's lap and purr for scraps of food. Everyone is happy. Everyone is laughing and joking. Everyone has a story to tell. Everyone is enjoying the party. Everyone except one woman. I can hear her talking to her friend. The wine is running out and we've only just begun. What can we give them all to drink? The party will be ruined. I'll have a word with Jesus, says the other woman. She hurries to his table and whispers in his ear. I follow on behind, ears pricked. Standing in the courtyard are six huge stone jars. Quickly says Jesus to the servants. Fill these jars with water. Water? What good is water at a wedding? Wine is what we need, not water. The servants do as they are told, off to the well and back again, with buckets, jugs and leather bottles. Splish, splash, backwards and forwards until the jars are full. 150 gallons. Thirsty work. Now draw some off, says Jesus, and drink. The woman dips a pitcher in and then she gasps. <gasps> there in her hand is not the water that the servants brought, but dark red wine. Wine! Enough for everyone to drink and come again. The steward tastes the wine. He says, The best was saved till last. And everybody cheers and passes around the jug. <sighs> so much excitement in one day. I'm off to sleep away the afternoon. I curl up on the roof and soon I'm dreaming. When I wake up, it's growing dark. The guests have gone, the moon is up. Did the water change to wine or was it all a dream? Looking down, I see the jars and one of them is still half full. The moon's reflection in the jar is pink. Pink? So Jesus really turned the water into wine? What an amazing man. We've not heard the last of him. I'd bet my whiskers on it. Yeah.